What's poppin', homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl. And today, we're going to talk about what's going on in Hawaii. Now, I was on TikTok, and I shared on my TikTok, a young lady was talking about how, um, you know, don't send any donations to FEMA or any of the government organizations because they would not get the money and they would not get all the supplies. <clears throat> and I understand that. But then, and then she was talking some more. She was saying how the people that lives in the affected area, the officials are telling them, like FEMA and all that kind of stuff, are telling them to leave their home. The only way they're going to get aid if they leave their home and go to a gym facility, like a shelter facility. And these people don't want to leave their home. They're trying to rebuild where they live. So you mean to tell me you're not going to give them anything, no type of food or water, or any type of donations that come through your organization unless they leave their property to go to the shelter? That's not right. That sounds very fishy to me. Very fishy. And I went down a deep rabbit hole on TikTok. And let me tell you something. TikTok can be a lot of things, but when you want to know something, that's the place to go. Now you could take, you know, when you listen to things, you got to take, you know, what you want from it and leave the rest. But there's something going on. And I feel like people with money, they want Hawaii. They want it. It, this is the perfect opportunity to get this land and do whatever they want with it because it's burnt out. But I hope, I hope the people that live there and was born and raised there, I hope they don't give it up. Fight for what's yours. Fight for what's yours because people with money are very dangerous. They feel like they can buy up anything they want and do what they want to it. I hope the people that are from there, born and raised, or who have family there that's going through this, I hope they everything that they're trying to ship over there, it goes directly to them. You got to have somebody on the receiving end. Now, I didn't go to NBC News. I found the article. I went to Hawaii News. And... They have an article, and I'm going to read this article to you. And it's, it's devastating what happened over there. It's devastating. But for people that have money to take advantage of this time to buy up the land, nobody wants to, I don't care, nobody wants to sell their land. Oprah was over there. Well, she, I think she's still over there. Now, she was turned away from one of the shelters because she had a production crew. Why do you need cameras and 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 and, and you know, video. For what? If you're going to help these people genuinely, you don't need a whole production behind you. You show up, you do what you have to do, and you try to get more people to come in and help without, without wanting any type of land in return. So Oprah wasn't turned away, but her production crew was turned away. Why do you need somebody to capture you taking pictures, giving out a pillow or helping this or helping with that? Why do you need why do you need that? If it's coming from your heart, you don't need that. And that's not what they need right now. Everybody knows they went through a, a massive fire. Everybody knows that. It's been on the news. So why do you feel like I mean, since some of these celebrities, oh my God, they just I don't understand. I don't understand. But anyway, let's get let's get back into Hawaii news. It says here that state and county officials are offering new guidance on what's needed to aid Maui fire wildfire victims. Now, state rep Troy Hashimoto emphasizes the importance of donations to Maui. It takes everyone who donates partnerships with the federal, county, and state, as well as private partners to then figure out what has been donated to get to the correct people, he said. After all, 
This is a marathon, not a sprint. The recovery time will be quite long. Those of you who ha- who not donated yet, there is still time. Okay. Due to help from the community and Hawaii Food Alliance, over 1 million pounds of food and water were donated to Maui residents impacted by the fire. Now, Here's what he here's what it says. Here are some key takeaways. Don't ship donation items to Maui unless you have someone on the other end to receive it. If you still want to donate your items, donate th- them through community partners <clears throat> such as Hawaii Community Foundation and Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement. Sort all donated items. Officials ask you sort the items you donated and indicate what they are. If you cannot sort your items, donate them to a community partners. Donate and demand items. These items include non-perishable food, non-perishable food items, specifically protein and vegetable items, water, hand washing stations, water totes to transport water, outdoor sinks, portable charging stations, wheelchairs, and tents. This is what they're asking for. You know, if you want to, if you want to donate items, here are some of the things that they, they need. No more clothing donations. There's a surplus of donated clothing items and the organizations are still working their way through these items. Don't drop off items at the shelters. Officials say they are not accepting donations at the shelter sites and instead encourage you to donate them to the designated drop-off sites. Now, monetary donations are still very appreciated. Officials encourage people who want to donate monetarily to check out the Hawaii Community Foundation and Maui United Way. Okay, so if you're going to donate anything, Maui has, um, is it called Maui United Way? Do it directly through Hawaii. Okay, and that's what people have been saying. Do it directly through Hawaii. The Maui donation locate, location is lo- relocating from the War Memorial Complex to Old Sears location. And the times will be open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So if anybody that has family in Hawaii, you know, Maui, with, with, with all the wildfires happen at, here's some information you may want to pass along. If you're looking to volunteer, check out Maui Strong. <clears throat> And you can get all the information on there on how to donate. So they really need, they really need things. Now the death toll in Lahana rises to 93 as families with missing loved ones are asked for DNA samples. So there's still a lot of people that's missing the death toll is now at 93. So please keep, you know, keep Hawaii in your prayers. And I feel that I'm going to, I'm going to stand on this. I feel that people with money are looking to buy up the land there so they can get their crews in there to clear it out. Okay. They're going to start offering people money for their land. And I say, don't take it. Try to rebuild it. This is, you know, I I just don't understand people with money. I really don't. All the homeless out here in the world that you can help do something for, they always trying to find more ways to make sure they stay rich. Sometimes people don't want money. Okay, people in Hawaii, the native Hawaiians, they have homes that their families have for generations. Okay, 
their family was born there. So I just don't understand why people with money always want to come in and buy up something and make it more expensive. I just don't understand that. I don't understand that. And if any more celebrities go over there, don't go with a camera crew. If you're going to help, go go help. Go help. But anyway, that's how I feel about it. So I just, you know, I just want to share this information. And I got this from Hawaii News. Okay, this is coming straight from Hawaii News. I did not go on NBC or Fox News or anything like that because they are pushing, um, trying to get FEMA involved. And I don't think Hawaii wants FEMA involved with anything. And if you go on TikTok, you'll see why. You'll hear why. You'll hear why. It's a lot. It's a lot to take in. But anyway, you guys, let me know how you feel about this. And please send your prayers to Maui. Um, just pray for Hawaii. They need it. And if you can send anything, make sure you're sending it straight to Hawaii and not through any third party services. Okay. And I'll talk to you guys later.